Daryl first, um, Andrew from Rugby News Service. Um, both teams have a lot of stake uh, in this match, Fiji. Uh, potentially, if they secure a bonus point, progression to the next stage, whereas Georgia feeling, feeling the pressure to bounce back from their disappointment. Does that make them a little bit more dangerous for you? Yeah, I guess the, the motivation for, for Georgia is very high. Um, clearly, they look disappointed at, you know, with their performance. Um, but this week's really around um, Fiji focusing on what we need to do uh, and perform in the weekend. And I think the buy for us has come at a really um, good stage of the tournament in terms of our schedules. It's given us the opportunity to refresh, um, given that we you know, had four uh, Tier 1 nations in a row. And so it's important. And you know the energy and excitement the players have had this week um, you know, is really palpable, and they're really looking forward to the game tomorrow. Could I ask one more? Um, traditionally, I think Georgia's often been characterised by their forward pack, whereas Fiji is often been characterised by the faster flowing rugby. Do you think that's still a fair characterisation of both teams, or have they evolved beyond that? Yeah, I think Georgia have definitely evolved. You know, the um, traditional core strengths of you know, scrum and maul. Yeah, you know, they're still there, but you know they evolved their attacking game. Um, you know, producing backs now with with skill and pace and wanting to play. Um, and with Fiji, obviously, you can see the improvement in the areas that we know we we need to get better. You know, exits. Um, you know, our malls, our set piece. You know, a lot of things, a lot of factors have gone into our improvement over the last. Um, you know, during this this tournament. Next question, please. Uh, yes, we're from NHK Japan. Uh, so um, what is the um, main um, cause or reason of your good form um, after winning uh, to Australia? And uh, also, uh, what is the, how have you been um, um, forming uh, like a, very togetherness uh, within the team. How, how have you managed to do that? Um, I think, especially on the form at the minute, I think it's how we're training. I think that, that, that's it's certainly changed uh, this, this whole 15 weeks. You know, we've trained really hard, and I think it's, it's, it's shown in the results we've got. Um, I think the culture in Fiji is, is never a problem. I think people, people in teams look, for, look, like, look for culture. But it's it's always there for Fiji with the boys, the connection, you know, back back to the culture, the singing, and things like that. Thank you. Sam, um, could I ask you? I know you guys only concentrate on one match at a time, um, but obviously, if, if Fiji were to make it through the quarterfinals, what what do you think that's going to mean tomorrow for for Fiji and rugby? Yeah, I think I think it's massive. Um, obviously, at, at the start of you know when, when we when we got into camp, it's always a goal. I think the goal is to, is to win it, and that's why we're here. But obviously, you have to get to the quarters first to to progress. Um, like you know, we, we haven't looked past any team. You know, we haven't played already, so all, all focus this week's been on Georgia, and rightly so. Sorry, in uh, 2019, uh, we uh, lost to Uruguay in that uh, pool match. But this time around, we've um, sort of given Georgia the respect they deserve with uh, our lineup that was uh, named. Um, for you personally, does that um, still hurt from 2019? Um. Thank you. Um, I think uh, one thing we have now, we respect every team. So uh, what happened uh, in 2019 is something we didn't expect. Uh, but when we came to the Rugby World Cup now, it's we have to expect uh, every team is going to be compete against us. So this week, uh, we didn't take this game lightly. It's like our final as well. So we moved uh, game by game. We forgot about next week. So we focus on this one before we get on no, next week. So just a follow-up, uh, Lepani. 
Um, uh, Georgia, they've lost uh, their best uh, open side flanker uh, who plays for Paul as well. Uh, I think uh, you know him as well uh, in the top 14. <coughs> but what do you think of their loose forwards trio that they have? Even their number eight has got the most number of uh, tackles as well in this competition after three rounds. Uh, what we're we expecting this week is uh, it's going to be a tough game for us, uh, especially the forward pack. And um, they lost uh, one of their best players, but it's uh, still dangerous as well because uh, they have uh, been lost two game, a uh, few games. So I think they want to win one game. So this week is not going to be change anything. It doesn't matter if they change one uh, player. I think uh, they, they have uh, the same goal as, as us as well. They want to win the game as well, and they want to compete uh, against us, especially the forwards. So uh, we're looking on that on uh, tomorrow's game. Bonjour, c'est pour M6. Est-ce que vous vous chantez chez vous un peu en France, un peu comme chez vous? Parce qu'on a l'impression que vous êtes un peu les, les chouchous. Ah oui, pardon. J'attends. Ok, c'est bon pour vous <rire> Désolé. Euh, je voulais savoir, est-ce que vous vous sentez un peu comme chez vous, en France, avec cet accueil du public qui fait un peu de vous les, les chouchous how we are as people and how we are as a country is, is it certainly rubbed off on everyone. And I'm hoping that as we go forward, it can, it can carry on. Thank you. Thanks. Um, Gibo, uh, in terms of um, defense, judging from the last two games, where do you think um, where, where we are at now compared to um, uh, the last two? Were there some um, things that concern you as the defense coach from the last two? Yeah, different. You know, obviously a different, um, different team attack with different strengths. I think um, you know, defense, along with a number of factors, has been an improvement area in our team. You know, we've talked a lot around how our increased fitness levels has, has led to a lot of improvements in all facets of our game. And I think for me, you know, defence is around effort and mindset. And it's something that, um, you know, we continually work at. Um, and as I said, you know, Georgia will pose a different threat in different ways. So defensively, you know, we're going to have to be very strong in our maul and our scrum, scrum defence. So a question for uh, all three of you. Uh, what is the key for uh, winning against Georgia tomorrow? And also, uh, how are you um, uh, looking at the scrum of uh, Georgia? How, how are you going to prepare for against their scrum? <laughs> um, I'll answer the scrum, uh, scrum question. I think our, our scrum has been very good um, the, the first two games. And all the focus will be on us, you know, as it has been. I think George's, George's way into the game is, is their scrum and set piece. So if we can, if we can get on top of that and, and counter that, it'd, it'd, be, it'd be big for us. But we're certainly looking forward to the challenge. Can you go to how we're going to win? Um, I think I can answer the question about uh, how we're going to win. Um, we, uh, we know uh, George and is have a big pack and, uh, on the front row. And they have uh, is going to compete uh, a lot on the scrum, the lineup, the malls, every racks. So uh, we try our best to uh, to do every uh, every uh, set piece and everything clear for for our backline, so that we can move forward. I think uh, the boys are ready to take on their forwards tomorrow. Any further questions? Bonjour, Arnaud Carré pour Radio France. 
Bonjour. Arnaud Carré pour Radio France. Vous êtes en mesure de vous qualifier pour la troisième fois en quart de finale. Est-ce que les Fidji ont, à votre avis, eu déjà une équipe aussi forte I think we've had, you know, strong teams in the past. It's probably the best prepared Fiji team, um, most experienced in terms of caps. Um, we're very fortunate um, that we've got a really nice blend of uh, more experienced players and then able to bring, um, you know, less experienced players in the campaign, which will bode well for future years. Um, and I think probably the, the key, key to our success is Every person is, is really pulling in the right direction. Um, you know, we set some firm goals at the start of the campaign. Um, they still remain our goals and, and we're getting closer to achieving them. So um, it's an exciting time. And um, you know, there's lots of smiles on the faces. And when there's smiles on the faces of Fijian players, you know you're doing, doing something well. Any further questions? And that would be the end. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Merci. Thank you. I forgot my credentials. Merci beaucoup.